Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. All right, let's talk quickly about how to graph a linear equation. Both of these equations that you see here are definitely in slope-intercept form. Because what happens is, when you see something in slope-intercept form, there's two parts to it. There's this number, which is the y-intercept, and that's where the line is going to cross the y-axis. Then there's this part, which is the slope. And the slope, of course, is the angle of the line. Now notice that in this case, this is a positive slope. So going from left to right, we want it to climb upwards. And the first thing you need to do is try to locate the y-intercept, which here is negative 3, 1, 2, 3. And you know that the equation of the line is going to go through that point. Now from there, you're going to go um, over 2 and up 1. We're going to go 1, 2, and up 1. Make a little mark right about there. And do the same one more time, over 2 and up 1. Now what we have to do is draw a straight line that is going to connect all those points. So now you can see that when the line is drawn, we put an arrowhead on both sides because this represents an infinite set of points that answers this equation, y equals 1 half x minus 3. Now look at the next equation. As you can see in slope-intercept form here, we have our y-intercept of 6 and our slope of negative 2. Now remember, a slope is rise over run, so we need to think of it as rising 2 and running across left and right 1. So a slope of negative 2 is really negative 2 over 1. All right, let's locate the y-intercept. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We know that equation is going to go through that point. A slope of negative 2, what does that mean? Well, it goes up 2 and over 1. Notice that we'd have to go left 1, because in this case we have a negative slope. Again, do that one more time, up 2 over 1. And we can do that multiple times, but make sure that we can now connect the line. So, things to remember, if you find an equation in slope-intercept form, it is y equals mx plus b m is the slope, in this case, one-half, positive one-half. Negative three is the y-intercept, and of course, you can look over on the graph, and the green line is the equation of that line. In the red line, we have a slope of negative two, negative two over one, and a y-intercept of positive six, and it looks like this. All right, good luck. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.